here definitely. And don't forget about that three. Oh my gosh, people always forget about that three. They go, oh, it's on the other side. I don't need to do that. This is the whole fundamental reason that we can do this, is that we have an equation. And what you do to one side, you do to the other. So we multiply by two real quick, real quick. What are we going to end with? Good, those twos are gone. We have 5x equals? This one's kind of nice. No distribution that we have to do. That's, that's kind of nice. None of this nasty stuff that we did over here. Kind of set straight forward to us. Now, can we solve this just like it is, or do we have to move some things around? And what tells you that? Great. Moving around because power 2 is what she said, and how are we going to do that? Okay. So let's do that. Now, here's a question for you. Could you have moved the 3 first? Sure. And the same thing would work out. Notice if you move the 3 first, you have minus 3 there, right? If you multiplied everything by 2, you'd still have the minus 6 that we're about to get. So it works out either way. It's fine. Okay, we should be almost pros at this now. What's the next thing we're going to do? Factor, yeah. Can't be a difference of squares because there's three terms. So we're going to factor by a diamond problem. For the interest of time, we're going to do this together. So on our diamond problem, what goes on the top? How about the bottom? Negative negative. Good. Negative 20, not the negative 6, right? We multiply those things. We get negative 24. You're trying to add to 5. You're trying to multiply negative 24. Think about it in your head. Don't say it out loud yet. Think about it in your head for about five seconds. Do you have the numbers? Three. There's options, right? 12 and 2, 6 and 4, 8 and 3. There's only one that's going to work. Negative 3, positive 6 and 4. Negative what now? 3, 3, Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do it in... You can do it negative 3 and positive 8 if you want. Just so that you can see this one more time, I'm going to do it this way. So you can see a little, the little method again. <clears throat> yeah, it's exactly right. Now, can we go directly to the factors, or do we have the extra step here? Perfect. So we're going to break this up as 4x squared plus 8x minus 3x minus 6, and that's still equal to 0. We do this because we can factor by grouping now. We'll factor out what from here? 4x. Perfect. And we will get, looks like, looks like x plus 2 to me. Now, can you tell me, and this is the reason why I wrote it in this order, what do you factor out of these two terms, a positive or a negative? Negative. Negative, negative what? Three. Three. Great. If you factor out negative 3, notice that this will become positive x, and this will become what? Positive. Positive 2. Do you see why the sign changes, folks? We're factoring out a negative. You're dividing a negative by a negative. Looks like we did it right. If you had got different signs here, you would have done something wrong. You'd go back and fix it at this point. Now we're going to factor out the x plus 2. And what are we going to be left with when we factor out the x plus 2? Perfect. Hey, we finally get a different case, right, where we can set each one of them equal to 0. Since these things are different, the 0 part of the property works just fine for us. We're going to set not only the x plus 2 equal to 0, but we're also going to set the 4x minus 3 equal to 0. Do a little Harry Potter math magic on this thing. Bam! We'll get the answer by some simple algebra. We'll get x equals negative 2. That's one answer. And we'll get, what, what are we going to get on the right hand side? Four. 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 Yeah, we'll add that 3. Sorry, it's getting a little cramped. We're going to get x equals 3 fourths. Two solutions, both of them work. And that's because we have the, the square. That power 2 says you're going to get two solutions out of that. Okay, let's start one more since we have a couple minutes here. I want you to at least do the first step. I'd like the first two steps. See how far you can get on it.
And what's a weekend without a little homework, right? So, I mean, no one wants that. I swear, I'm not really a jerk, I just play one on TV. By the way, as you're doing the work, I really hope that on your homework you factored out the GCF first before you tried diamond problems, because there's one of them that's like 20x squared minus like 200x yeah. plus like 600. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't factor out the 20, that problem takes forever. You factor out the 20, it takes five seconds. It's really, really fast. So you have to factor GCF. It took me like five minutes to figure that out. Yeah, see, it takes so long, you go, oh my gosh. Leonard, are you serious? Negative 100 on the top and like 12,000 on the bottom? You're crazy. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I was like, okay, something's wrong. So back yeah. to that, I was like, oh, Factor geez. GCF. GCF is, is huge on this problem. Maybe we'll talk about that class on Monday if I grade this. Okay, we have about 20 seconds. I just want to make sure you can get the first couple steps. First couple steps are you're going to multiply everything by 2. You're going to get 8x squared, you're going to get 15x, and you're going to get 2. Did you make it that far? Yeah. Your next step you have to do, get everything to one side because you have the x squared. You should have 8x squared minus 15x minus 2 equals 0, and then we're going to use a diamond problem to wrap that thing up. Did you guys get that far? Okay. Do you see, are, are we all right on, on doing that? Okay, we'd have the negative 15 on the top and negative 16 on the bottom. And then we work it from there. <clears throat> I think we have enough to do this. Yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> well, because what I did, sorry, you know, I, I missed some steps here. I subtracted 15x from both sides, and I also subtracted 2 from both sides. Okay, so that's how it, it moved over there. I'll write that out for you. And then use the diamond problem just like we did in the previous example. Just want to make sure you can get down this far because we've already covered the factory that will lead you to the rest of this. How many people uh, understood what we talked about today? I feel pretty good about this stuff. All right, that homework should be due on Monday. Guys, have a great weekend.